Hi everybody, thank you for coming into my kitchen. This is Stephanie. Um, happy, well now it's Easter today. So it's Easter Sunday and I'm making a brisket. So I just wanted to show you guys how I make a brisket in the oven. I was gonna put this uh, um, this in my, um, in my uh, air fryer oven, but it's too big. So this is about a nine pound brisket and it's the smallest one they had. So that's the one I have and that's the one I'm gonna show you. And it's going in my regular oven today. Same difference if it would have been if it would have went in my air fryer oven. Okay, um, thank you guys again. Appreciate you all. You know I love you, and I appreciate everything you do for this channel. Keep on doing it. Thank you. All right. So today in this pan, in this pan here, I have uh, onions and celery and carrots and garlic at the bottom, and this is the it's this. Um, this ro this roast beef, this uh, um, brisket is on top of it. You, as you see, this is the, the top side. I got this from Costco, and this is the top side right here, of oh, the fat side right here, and the other side is the uh, fat. But what? First of all, I'm going to show. Well, I'm going to show you my ingredients before I really get my hands dirty here. I'm going to show you my ingredients. So I'm going to put some thyme on there and I'm going to put some garlic powder on it and I'm going to put some red onion powder stuff is really good that Spain spice real good stuff I'm putting that on there and I, I was looking for my um, my steak my steak season because last time I made it was steak season and it was delicious but I don't have any, I can't find it, but I think maybe my daughter took it. So anyway, so I'm gonna put some sweet and smoky on there instead, it's a rub. I'm gonna put definitely put that on there. And I'm going to put some of this um, Weber, uh, what is it called? Weber dry rub, it's called uh, brown, brown sugar, smoky brown sugar. So that'll be a little, give it a little sweeter taste. And, um, I'm going to throw a little of this on there. That is some uh, garlic salt. We'll put a little of that on there. I'm going to throw a bay leaf in here. Definitely. And let's see. And in the bottom, I'm going to throw some. This is um, beef bouillon. And there's no, no salt in it. So I'm going to put some of this in there. I got two packs. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to maybe rub it on there and put a pack in there. But that's what I'm going to do. And put a little water in it after I, I I make this really tight. I'm gonna after I rub it all in, I'm gonna make it real tight, um, so no air, so no and no air can get in there. It's gonna go in slow. It's gonna go in the oven. At my oven is at 330, but you know 300 is a good number. And you, I'm gonna it's gonna be in there good three hours before I touch it. And after that, then I'm gonna go in, uncover it. I'm gonna throw some. Uh, potatoes in there and let it go for at least another hour let it get a nice color to it and there it goes when I when I cook it it's going to go it's going to be um, fat side up so that so that the fat will go right through the meat it's going to take a long time but you know we got some time today so that's how that's going to go and I forgot I don't know if I told you but I'm also going to put some olive oil on first that's the first thing that goes on is some olive oil so I'm just gonna rub it with some olive oil. And I have it all in the pan ready for me so I don't have to move anything else. Of course it was washed and that's what you do. You wash it, rinse it off and go further. So, okay, let me remove my ingredients so you guys can see. So I have olive oil on here so far. And I'm going to put olive oil on the other side of it. Some olive oil on that side. Come on, brisket. There we go. And I'm just going to rub it in with some olive oil. And this is not a hard dish to make. It's just, it's not, um, you know, you just have to have time to, 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 have the oven on one way or the other whichever oven you put on you have to have time for it so there we go 
And like this is the second time I made. I have a half one, about three pounds or four pounds in the freezer. And I'm gonna make that one one day. Um, but I'm gonna put that uh, in the little oven here. All right, now. Now I'm gonna start sprinkling on all of these ingredients. Uh, I'm gonna sprinkle all the ingredients and ingredient, ingredients on. And then I'm gonna rub them in. I'm gonna pat them in, not rub. I'm gonna pat them all in after I get them all on. So I, I'm not measuring anything, just covering it. Cause it's a big piece of meat. So I just wanna cover it all with, with some of these ingredients. Scarlet powder, here we go. Sprinkle up high so it can land evenly. Uh, then I want some um, red onion. You know what I didn't, what I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some pepper. Also, I'm gonna throw some pepper on here because that's what my, that's what my steak seasoning would have on it. So, hold on a second. Let me find some pepper. Um, here we go. I have some ground black pepper right here. That's going on too. Throw some of this pepper on here. For sure. And let's see, let's see. Let's go with this, this dry rub. Gonna throw that on here. And I'll go this way. Okay. Go like that, here we go. Get that stuff on here. We want it on all over. And I'm also going to put in some of the sweet and smoky, which is, here's my sweet and smoky. And I'm going to throw some of them on, her on here too. Real nice. So I get it all. All right, and then I'm going to absolutely put some of this infused garlic salt on here. And I'm going to take a spoonful or two. Because like I said, this is a piece of meat. So it needs some salt. You know I don't like salt, but it does need some. Put some of that on there. And I'm going to just press it in. Not rub it in, but press it in to that meat. And you know you could you could literally um, cut some of the fat off, but the fat is good for it. You can take it off when you finish when you finish if you like, but I don't think so. And I'm gonna get around the sides in a minute. First, I'm gonna get this part done. Now back to the seasoning part. I'm gonna really start with this this salt on this side. We're making this much meat, you really, you really, really have to be sure to season it well. Don't be scared of seasoning. I'm gonna put the same seasoning on one side that I did on the other. So you all see when I put it on the first side, that's what I'm gonna put on the second side. And I'm going to try to get someone around the corners of it. Everything. It all got to get seasoned real good. So, oh. This is where we are.
Okay, I'm going to add one, another one more thing. Ah, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it goes. I'm also going to add a little bit of adobo, light seasoning. Put some of that on there too. All right, now some black pepper. This is coarse black pepper. She's good. Now, I'm going to pat it on. And I want to get it around the sides. I'm going to get some of this around the sides of this meat. I want it everywhere. I can see that it could go. I'll get some over here. Right on the side. Sorry, got to go on the sides too. Got to. Everybody got to get some. So you see how I'm getting it. They all need a little love. The whole thing. Give it love. I particularly threw the the most salty part around the side of this brisket but I'm going to throw everything around give it a little love just get some on it it's got to have some bit over here so it will have some flavor because it got to hang out for a while okay you could put everything in a bowl and then sprinkle it on it probably would be a little easier maybe but I tell you I do my I do things Stephanie way so that's how I work all right and I want to also put in a little bit of this Beef bouillon. <laughs> Excuse me. That pepper. Mm. Do some one like that, and I'm gonna throw one in. I'm gonna throw one in the bottom. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna throw this in here. I'm going to turn it over so our fat side is up. That's the fat side. Fat side's up. There we go. I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. I have two cups of water. I'm going to put it around the side right here. Not pour it right on there. I want to keep the seasoning on. So I'm going to pour it right up under here so it can get, get started. Hmm. Maybe I'll put another cup in. Three cups. And then I'm going to put a bay leaf on the bottom. On the top and on the bottom. Okay. There you go. That's the water. I'm put some bay leaf in. And I'm tighten it. Make it tight. Put one here. One there. One right here at the side. Okay. Alrighty now. So now we're going to cover it up. I got some heavy duty foil paper. And I'm covering it up tight. It needs to be tight. So. 
she she's heavy. She's a heavy girl. I want it totally tight. I don't want no air going in there. Cover it up real tight. Put another coating on here. And we are off to the races after that. Okay. All covered up tight. Hi guys. She's going in. But I'll see you later. I'll be back in about three and a half, four hours. Maybe three hours, three and a half. So we can check on it. Put some potatoes on it. Yeah. Hey guys, I am back. It's been like almost three and a half hours that the um, brisket has been in the oven on three, I'll say 320 for my oven. 320, 315. So, um, I think it's, you know, probably up to temperature. I'm going to take it out and we're going to take a look. All right. Hold on. It smells heavenly. I tell you that. It smells heavenly. Let me close this back up. I'm letting the temperature go up because I think it should be done and now I want it to get brown. So let me take it off and just get a kind of a temperature check here. It certainly was on tight. Smells good. It smells like barbecue this time. The first time it smelled like more like steak, but this time it smells like barbecue. It smells good. I'll get my steak seasoning and do it again with the steak seasoning. Okay. Let's see what the temperature is on it. Like right about here. The temperature is 160. One one sixty two. Okay. Temperatures. Let's see. Right here. Right there is one seventy, one eighty, one eighty over there, and one seventy over here. Okay. Now I'm gonna put it back in the oven, a little higher temperature. Um, it's like one sixty two. It should be okay. I'm going to put it back in the oven. It's ready for me too. This time it's uncovered. And I have these potatoes here. I have these potatoes. These are white, um, yellow potatoes. Yukon, I think they are. I put some olive oil on it. I put some of this stuff on it. It has some salt on it. And it's garlic, onion, black pepper, and um, sea salt. What else can you be? perfect then I put on so a little bit of red onion powder on there and now they're going in they're coming right in and I'm gonna let they, those get cooked in here so I'm gonna put them in right now and let them go for the next hour and by then they should be dinner should be ready so we got another hour to wait here on Easter Sunday but eh, it's okay as long as we eat we'll be okay Get all of these in. So remember, I put like two, two cups of, uh, not really three cups of water in here. Could have really let. I, looks like I got a lot of juice in here, so I could have put two, and it would have been fine. All right, now I'm gonna let that baby go. <coughs> Let's let her go back in the oven and she'll be in the oven for at least another hour and we'll check her out then 
but I wanted it, it had to be covered for at least three hours. And now it was. So now she's going back. So we have some potatoes, we'll have some brisket, there's some vegetables under there. I'm gonna make some string beans like I always do so we can have another kind of veggie. And that's that. You know what? I'm gonna do, pull it out first a little bit. Pull that out first and then I'm gonna pop it in here. Cause she's heavy. She ain't no joke heavy. All right now, it's on like 375, 380. So for my oven, it's like maybe 370. Sometimes this oven is crazy. So 370, it's on. It's gonna stay on there for the next hour and we'll check it again. All right guys, I will see you in an hour. Bye bye. Hey everybody, it is time to eat. We are hungry. This house is smelling good. So let me just explain what I did. The, the um, brisket was in the oven at three, 320, let's just say for um, three and a half hours. Then I took the, uh, the uh, foil off and then I put it back in the oven with potatoes. So I, I put some potatoes in and, um, and guys, if you can see this, oh, you see the potatoes, Perry? Okay. The potatoes are here, um, and the potatoes, the carrots, uh, a little bit of onions, they all came out. I took it all out. I took the gravy, the water, whatever, the gravy drippings, and put it in a pot, and I made some gravy out of that. But then I covered this up when I, when it was, because it was done after uh, another hour. So it was in for three and a half hours. I took it out, uncovered it, put some uh potatoes and stuff in and i left it uncovered for another hour on like four, four i'm mean not four it was like maybe 385 left it in there for another hour took it all out and then i let this sit here for about a half an hour could sit here longer but we ready to eat so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what it looked like so far you see it you see it perry okay here it is been sitting for a half an hour and I I need to cut this man I'm, I'm hungry <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it against the grain the grain is going this way I can see okay good okay the grain is go this way so I got to cut it against the grain going that way and and also that should be fine on this side too so I'm gonna try it over here first. Yes, yeah. Cut against the grain, if you can see that. This is what it's starting to look like here. Got a good knife. And it looks good, it smells, oh, smells divine in here. We hungry. I'm gonna take this little piece right here though and I'm going to taste it. I'm going to taste a little piece right here. Broke right off. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This has a more barbecue taste than the first one I made. One the first one I made was just with some um, steak seasoning. But this one has more barbecue taste. And it's still real good. Mmm. It's still real good. So, I'm going to cut it up. I'm gonna cut it, get it going, I'm gonna cut it down. And I'm gonna take a picture for a thumbnail later, guys. So you'll see. But here we go. That's that's my brisket. I'll be making other ones. Uh, and I'll show you guys more about them. I'll be making them all the time because these are good. So, and, and, and the whole family will eat it. So, until later, enjoy your day. And have a happy Sunday. It, it is Easter, so if you had a, if, if you do celebrate Easter, have a happy Easter. When you see it, it will not be Easter anymore, but this is certainly something you guys can make any holiday, okay? See y'all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye, and thank you for coming. Bye-bye.